In terms of the our corridors within the ESC, it's basically linking upwards of 200 million people into the markets, the global markets. We now have five countries that are determined to do business in a uniform way, to create a common market where investments are treated the same way. If the code wasn't there, I don't think you would have even one of the, any of the mines in Tanzania today because uh, you know we have all the construction equipment, uh, most of the implements have been going through the center corridor. So it's absolutely crucial. The more uh, we see the private sector coming in and willing to do business between the regions, um, we, we, we feel that that is the way uh, we should be moving. The plans for Equator Line moving forward is very much that we would like to expand our services. We're looking very much at the shipping part of it, which is the transportation from port to port, uh, anywhere around the, across the, the lake. In the past, uh, a lot of the goods have been maybe sent by truck, so the distances are quite high, and uh, that also means that the, uh, that the cost of transportation used to be very high. So by ship, you can actually reduce the, the cost and all of a sudden make, make transportation viable and trade, increasing the trade volume. Citadel Capital is a private equity uh, firm out of, uh, with its head offices in Cairo, and we've invested through acquiring uh, a majority control stake in the concession company for the railway operations and maintenance in uh, Kenya and Uganda. We're looking at around $290 million of capital investment, so that's into assets, track, other infrastructure, communication, what is required and necessary to turn around in this uh, railway into an efficient and reliable uh, transporter. First line in Kenya, we connect East African importers and exporters to their markets, their suppliers or customers all over the world. We, we create opportunities for the economy. There is a lot of potential in terms of consumption and in terms of market. So when the private sector puts its money in the, in the region, they, they can be assured of the returns. When you look at what is happening within the region, all the economies are growing at uh, rates above 5, 6, 7 percent. We are a growing region. Uh, it's an emerging market. It's a high growth market. It's a high potential market as well. Growth doesn't look to be reducing anytime soon. On some level, it's also a place where you can make a big difference. The population is growing between 3 to 3.5 percent per annum, which basically means there's one million more babies coming in in each of the three countries in Kenya and Uganda and in Tanzania. On top of that, we have a very high economic growth. What we intend to do when, as much as possible when it comes to private sector participation is to get them involved more in operation. Governments do best the work of governing, creating the enabling environment and not getting to do what the private sector should be doing. We look at East African community in its legal form as 130 million people who are very eager to consume services and goods that have not been affordable before. And that affordability we think comes from investing in production and products and services in the region. It, it's ripe for, for investment and we also have a population now that's also very keen to team up with the rest of the world. When we have smooth business through the corridor, I'm sure the turnover also in income increases. So they should look at that and I'm sure they will gain more. I very much believe that uh, East Africa has a fantastic future. Uh, there are some great opportunities. Now infrastructure is, is absolutely critical and I think that's maybe the area where it needs to be uh, the most focus of the investments and, and the improvements. We are now in a new paradigm and our role this time is to move even more faster in there, to give more freedom and do more of monitoring rather than running the institutions. Let people run the institutions, let us do the guiding. Time was ripe yesterday and the day before. Um, th that simply means we need to hit the ground running. Potential that has not been tapped. It's just waiting for, for the right investors to come, identify it, uh, and tap onto it. There are a lot of opportunities. Please come.
and we want people to come and participate with us. It is one world, it's also your country. You can focus on uh, challenges and issues, or you can turn those around and make them opportunities. And really that, that, that's, that, that is what is great about working in East Africa, the opportunities, the potential. We are doing business here. It has to be viable, it has to be uh, making economical sense. But it's very nice that besides that, there is also the element of, uh, of being able to contribute uh, and, and uh, improve the livelihood of the, of the people and that we are very proud, playing our little role, but we are very proud to contribute like that.